Hey everyone, got another video for you today, and today I am talking about the GTEC Power Sweeper. Um, I've had this for about two years, so this review is well overdue, but I thought I'd go through some of the kind of good points and bad points about this particular device that I do use a lot. Now, this isn't a vacuum cleaner, so this is nothing like the GTEC Air Ram, it's not a vacuum cleaner, it's simply a sweeping device to replace a standard kind of dustpan and brush. So it's got a rotating motor brush in the front, and it's got a collection area uh, on the side here. Um, this device, if I show you from a top point of view, got a handle at the top, simply a plastic handle with this uh, small frame, and then you can adjust it here to kind of bring this up and down if you wanted to, just by pressing this clip down, and you can move it down. Or you can detach it here and just use this as a handheld sweeper, so you can just bring it along, use your, use your hand on carpets or stairs. So you can use this on the carpet, you can use it on hard floor. I use this in my kitchen area and in my dining area that's got this kind of laminate flooring, and I find it to be a pretty useful device. So the um, device itself got these rubber wheels, so pretty easy to kind of move around. Doesn't weigh too much, probably weighs about you know, two kilograms if that. Um, it's got a smaller sweeping brush, if I just tip this off the side. So when you are going around the sides of your kitchen or sides of a skirting board, this little brush spins on the right hand side to kind of pick up debris and push it towards the, the, the main um, um, rotating brush. At the bottom, pretty straightforward, you've got this kind of brush area here. This doesn't come out, so if it does collect hairs and things, you just have to pull them out manually. Um, I don't know, unless you put, could probably dismantle it. Um, it has got its battery pack in here as well, which is replaceable, so if you have a problem with the battery, you can replace it. And in regards to the battery, it comes with this power charger here, which literally takes about an hour to fully charge it. And when I've charged it, this will last me a good few weeks before I have to charge it again. So it's pretty versatile, very, very quick and easy to use. Um, the containing area itself, so when you have your debris and things that you pick up and empty, uh, it's all stored in here, which is, if I just move this out, trying to do this with one hand, so it's a little bit tricky, bear with me. There you go, so this comes out, like so, and that whole thing can come out so that you can take all the stuff that you've got in there, collect it and take it to the bin, you can wash that out as well. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. Now this part is a little bit flimsy, it's not very strong, so you just have to be careful when pressing it back in as that, that could crack and damage. Um, this also has this kind of germ guard, so I think when I bought this, there's two models, one had germ guard and one didn't, so it just means that these bristles have been coated with some sort of antibacterial agent, which I thought is a good thing, especially in a kitchen, you know, when you're picking up things that have potentially got germs on them and stuff, it's probably good to have that. So that's quite useful. Um, one of the um, annoying things about this is that, for whatever reason, this connection here, this, this simply unclips. A few times, this is, just comes off when I'm pushing it around. I don't know why, it's just a bit of a bad design, I guess, but uh, not much of a problem. You simply click it back on, but it, um, it, you know, it can, can be a, a little bit annoying when that unclips. Also, what you can do, so I've got a cupboard that I keep this in, and it's a thin cupboard that you know, I need something to slot in vertically. So what's useful about this is that if you kind of, if I can move this down with my, actually I'll just use my foot to press this. So if I press this down, you can see that you can actually store it upright. So you can put it into a cupboard um, and you can, or you can, you, know, you could hang it, I guess, if you wanted to as well. Uh, but I can store it in the cupboard like that. So, and then when I get it back out again, I simply press this down. Okay, so again, pretty straightforward to use. Uh, very easy to charge, pretty well built. It is a little bit flimsy feeling at times, but the main unit itself, I've never had any problems with it. Um, and predominantly at the moment, what I'm using this for is because I have recently got a cat, you can see that where the cat litter tray is, there's lots of bits of stuff that get kicked around and kind of goes over the floor. So I'll just show you that. So you can see what that is like at the moment. Okay, bits of cat litter all over the shop. And if I just Press this button to switch it on. Obviously you can use your foot as well, but switch it on. Quite noisy. Okay. There you go. So, 
that has sweeped up pretty much all that debris. What does happen is when you push it forward, obviously this is spinning in one direction, so it tries to push things up into the, into the container. But when you've got stuff that has been missed and it's behind the unit, when you push the unit back, obviously it's gonna kick some of the stuff backwards rather than putting it in front of the blade. So that's the only thing that you have to be aware of. So sometimes when you've, you've missed something, you have to lift it up and put it back in front of the debris so that it will then pick it up as it takes its next pass. But it's very, very good at doing general kind of sweeping up. And like I said, it's very good for things like cat litter and general dust and debris. But I've also found this actually pretty good. When you run it over a carpet, it actually does pick up stuff that sometimes my vacuum cleaner hasn't picked up. Um, so it's quite good for that as well. And having this side unit here is very good for skirting boards. You're going down the side of a skirting board. This little uh, sort of brush here does pick, pick, pick those things up and is pretty good. So overall, I think this is a, a good device, but the downside is this costs, and I think it still costs around 80 pounds, which I think is a lot for something that's just a sweeper and isn't you know, a vacuum. Um, and so if you can get this at a cheaper price, I got this off Amazon, I'll put a link below. Um, I think it's worthwhile to get if you're after something that's quick and easy to use as a sweeper. But if not, you might be worth you know, saving your money getting a small vacuum cleaner for the price of this. I mean, at the time there was nothing out there that was like this a couple of years ago, whereas now you can get small mini vac vacuum cleaners like the, the Vax that I reviewed recently. Um, there's lots of other things out there that it'd probably do a better job than this. But if you have something that's easy, com easy, to, sorry, easy to carry, um, you can stick in your car very, very easily, or you want something that you can just quickly charge and doesn't require a vacuum bag, this could be a good option for you. Hope you found this useful.